Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be solving the leak code question, distribute candies to people. All right, so in this question, we distribute some number of candies to a row of n uh, equals number of people, uh, people in the following way. We then give one candy to the first person, two to the second person, three to the third person, so on and so forth, until we give n candies to the last person. Then we go back to the beginning and we start by giving n plus one candies. Okay, so basically uh, we're gonna increase the number of candies we give each time by a value of one. And at the ending of the second iteration, the last person is gonna be ended up with n plus n candies or two, by, uh, two multiplied by n, same thing. So this process repeats until we have, uh, we given out all of our candies. And the last, so this point, point is important, the last person will receive all our remaining candies not necessarily one more than the previous gift. So let's say we can't give him all that are necessary. Uh, then we're just going to end up giving all of the candies. Okay, and we need to return an array of length number of people and some candies that represents the final distribution of candies. So let's take a look at this example and then we're going to draw it out and look at it step by step. So we're given seven candies and four people. So our output is obviously going to have a length of four. So on the first turn, we give one candy to whatever is at the zeroth index. Then we give two candies, then three, and then at the ending, we would normally give four, but we don't have that many candies left because over here we have, we gave one, so we're left with six. Over here we gave two, so we're left with four. And over here we give three, so we're left with one. So technically we would have given four candies, but we don't, we actually don't even have four candies to give. So we're just gonna give out one candy. Uh, if it doesn't make sense, let's just take a look at this example over here. Okay, so I just came up with two numbers. So let's say we have a total of 20 candies and we have four people. So how is it going to look like? So how is our output going to look like? Well, very simply put, our output is going to have a length of four. So let's just start off with defining an array of length four consisting of all zeros. So we have zero, 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 and zero, four zeros. Okay, since in the beginning, they all have zero candies. And just to make it more clear for further representation, I'm going to write down the index. So this is 0th index, 1st index, 2nd index, and finally the 3rd index. So 0, 1, 2, 3. And let's just uh, do a quick iteration of this. So over here, I'm going to count the number of candies we have. So we're going to start off with 20 candies. What are we going to do first? We're first going to add, so we're going to add one candy. Or in other words, we're going to give out one candy. So to the 0th element, we're giving one candy. 0 plus 1 equals 1. And we're going to, from 20 candies, we're going to have 19 candies. Okay, so now we're going to give out two candies. So each time the number of candies we give out increases. So over here we're giving two candies. So that's the same as doing 0 plus 2. So that's 2. So now we're left with 19 minus 2, 17 candies. And now we're going to give out three candies. So 0 plus 3, 3. And then 17 minus 3 is 14. So I'm sure you get the pattern. So let's just go by this a little faster. So over here, we're gonna give out four candies. So we're gonna be left out with 10. And once, so now we reached ending. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go all the way back to the beginning. So now we're again at the beginning over here. And over here, we're going to add by how many? We're gonna add by five. So we added by four years. So now we're gonna add five candies. So we're gonna do plus five here. And so that's one plus five, which ends up with six candies. And we gave out five candies. So we're gonna do 10 minus five and we're left with five candies. Over here, we would do plus five plus one, so that's plus six, but we actually don't even have six candies. So in that case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just give how many candies we have, which in this case is the number five. So we're, instead of doing plus six, we're gonna do plus five, and that gives us a value of seven, and we're gonna be ended up with this. So six, seven, three, and four. These are gonna be the number of candies each person has. Now, how do you, how, so how can we go about to solve this? Well, there's two things that you really need to look at when solving this, or at least which I think are important. Now, so our first iteration is pretty simple, zero, one, two, and three. But once we reach the third index, we need to have some sort of way that we go all the way back to the zero index. So that's one thing we need to consider. And the second thing that we need to consider is that how do we know that we don't have enough candies? Like in this case, we were actually supposed to do plus six, but we don't have six candies. So instead we ended up doing plus five. So those are kind of the two main things that we need to think about. And now let's try to change our solution 
to incorporate both of these. So to solve the problem of finding out which index should we actually be at, to that we're actually going to start off with two counts. So I'm going to start off with something called x and obviously we're going to count the number of candies we have. So that's candies and this x value is going to start off with a value of 1. And we're going to find out its purpose real soon and the candies as well 20. Pretty simple. Now what this x is going to do is it's going to help us find out which index do we need to go to. And well, how are we going to find that out? Well, to find out which index we want to go to, we're going to take the x value and we're going to perform the modulo function with the number of people we have. And in this case, we have four people. So we're going to do x mod 4 to find out the current index. So over here, we have 0. So what is 0 mod 4? Well, 0 mod 4 is 0. So now we're going to go to the 0th index. And over here, what are we going to do? We're going to add the x plus 1 value. So this is how much of we're going to add. So to our original value, we're going to add 0, which is the x value, plus 1. So in this case, it's going to be 0 plus 0 plus 1, which is, well, 1. So I'm pretty sure you get the point of this, so I'll just go through it kind of quickly. So again, zero, uh, x over here, we increase its value by 1, and now we have 19 candies left. So now that once we're here, uh, we go to the first index because 1 mod 4 is equal to 1. And we're going to do 1 plus 1 plus 2. So we're going to add it with 2. So 0 plus 2 is 2. Now increase this by 1. And the number of candies we have left now are 19 minus 2, which are 17. Now over here, we have... Oh, sorry, this is supposed to be 2. My bad. Okay. So now we have 2. We need to add 2 plus 1. So that's 3. And now the, the we increase the x value by 1 and the number of things we have. 17 minus 3, which is 14. And once after that, we have this. So we go to 3, and then 3 plus 1 is 4, so we add it by 4. And then finally, the number of candies we have are going to be 10, and we're going to increase our x value by 1. Great. Now, we're actually going to understand the purpose of using this. So what is 4 mod 4? Well, 4 mod 4 is equal to 0. So by using this, form, uh, this method, we're going to find out which index we want to go to. So 4 mod 4 equals to 0, so now we go to the 0 index. And what is the value we're going to add? Well, we're going to add 4 plus 1. So we're going to add a value of plus 5 to our original uh, element. So in this case, the value used to be 1. So we're going to do 1 plus 5, which is, well, it's 6. 1 plus 5 is 6. And now we have the value of 6. And we're going to increase this by 1. So this is going to become 5. And we're going to do 10 minus 5, since we gave out 5 candies. And we're going to be left out with 5 candies. Now, let's just go through this one more time. So 5 mod, uh, 5 mod 4 is going to give us an index of 1, and we're going to be adding this with the value of 6. So we're going to do plus 6, giving us uh, 6 plus 2, which is 8. And uh, just to show you what the problem with this is, now we increase this by 1, making it 6, and we gave out 6 candies. So what is 5 minus 6? Well, 5 minus 6 is negative 1. How can you give out an extra candy? Your bag has five candies, but you gave out six. Well, that doesn't make sense, and that's not possible. So this is the second condition that we have to think about. And to solve this, we're going to introduce another condition. And it's actually really simple, and all it is, all we're going to do, is we're going to take the minimum value between x plus 1. So what are the two conditions we have? One condition is we add x plus 1 to how many other uh, to the element, right? Or we could add how many candies we have. So we're going to take the minimum between these two. And this is actually really important for our last uh, element or last number of candies. Over here, we're going to add x plus 1, which is, well, what is it? Uh, x is 5, 5 plus 1 is 6. So we could either give 6 candies or the number of candies we have is 5. And obviously, you cannot give out 6 candies since we only have 5. So we're going to return the minimum of these two, which is 5. And instead of adding, instead of doing plus 6, we're going to do plus 5. So 5 plus 2 is 7. So we're going to make that 7. And the final answer we end up with is 6, 7, 3, 4. And if you want to add each of these elements, they're going to add up to 20. So that means that we have distributed everything properly. And let's just take a look at this in code. And that should be really simple to do. Okay, so we're going to start off by initializing two things. Well, first off, we already have the number of candies, so we don't really need to worry about that. 
And now what we need to do, we're going to initiate that x value we're talking about. And it's going to have start off with the value of 0. And now we also need to make out our list. So we're going to call this a candy, candy list, right? Okay, so candy list, and this is going to hold uh, the number of candies each person is going to get. So to do that, we need to have 0 multiplied by the number of people we have. So num people. So if we have four people, we're going to have a list with length four. Pretty simple. So now we're going to go inside of a while loop and we need to have some sort of stopping point. So we're going to go inside of our while loop as long as the number of candies we have is greater than zero. And whenever we reach zero candies, uh, we're going to stop our while loop. Okay, so now we need to add the number of candies or we need to give out candies, right? To each person. So to do that, we're going to use the formula that we had before, which is we take to find the index, we take our x value and we do x mod the number of people there are. So that gives us the index and we want to go to that index of the candy list. So candy underscore list at that index. And to that, we want to add the x plus one value. But remember, we need to take into consideration that this x plus 1 value can be greater than the number of candies we have. So in that case, we're going to take the minimum between x plus 1 and the number of candies we have left. So x plus 1 and the number of candies. And we're only going to choose the candies in our last case. Or sometimes we might not even choose that. And uh, there could be a point where x plus 1 is equal to the number of candies. Okay, anyways. So now that we have that, we need to increase our x value by 1, obviously. And after we do that, we, we're going to uh, decrease the number of candies we have by our by the new x value. So we're decreasing it after increasing the x value by 1. So we're going to decrease it by that, and that should be it. And at the ending of this, we're going to return our list, which contains uh, the number of candies each person holds. So candy underscore list. Now let's try submitting this, and let's see what happens. So submit. And as you can see, our submission did get accepted. And finally, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Do let me know if you have any questions or if there are any specific leak code questions you want me to solve. And don't forget to like and subscribe if this video helped you. Thank you, guys.